Hey guys, so today I am testing out the new Essence Insta Perfect Liquid Makeup Foundation. I'm also testing out the Essence Volume Hero Mascara. I figured I could just sort of put these in two. Essence mascaras are some of my favourite mascaras, so I'm really excited to test this out. This is the first Essence foundation that is actually in my shade, even though this looks like really dark. When you swatch it, it's nothing like in the bottle, and I'm so excited. Although this bottle is minuscule. So this is my Catrice, like as a comparison, this is this is so small. I mean this is 30 milliliters and this is Oh, they're both 30 milliliters, so Fair enough. So I'm actually going to use something to tie my hair back today because you guys are getting really annoyed with my ever growing out fringe. So I got this in Cool Porcelain, which is number 10. Swatch of it, it's really light. Like I said, compared to how dark Essence Foundations normally are, this is such a step up. I'm gonna do half my face with the Wet n Wild flat top brush and then half my face with the Fenty sponge. I will say I never wet my sponges because I have oily skin, so I apologize. In advance. I'm gonna dot some of this on the back of my hand. It almost looks, it's almost looks white. Pretty sheer coverage at the moment. I mean I know I'm not finished but, but this is meant to be strong matte effect waterproof buildable coverage. Okay. So much peeking through that I don't even think I'm gonna like this with a sponge. Yeah I suppose that definitely gives you more coverage but I definitely don't feel matte. This looks very, very dewy, and you can see almost everything. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to wear this. I was gonna wear this for the whole day and test it out, but this is so bad, and I don't think I like this. I'm gonna scoot you in. I don't know if you can tell on camera. You can see all, like either side, brush or sponge, you can see all of the redness, all of the, Sort of discoloration. The thing we're gonna have to do is put on a different foundation, come back, and then try out the mascara because I am not wearing this all day. I was really excited about this, but I'm really sorry, I think this is a flop. On a quick note, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I've tried this a couple of times. I don't know, I don't love this, and I feel weird for that considering everyone in the beauty community seems to love this, especially Jeffree Star. New Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. I love this packaging, like I love how it's a square, but I need a sifter. As that was a flop, I'm just gonna go through a little bit of my makeup with you. I got from Amazon, by the way, still not available in the UK, but you can get a lot of American drugstore items on Amazon. I'll link it below in case you guys are interested. Okay, so I'm gonna use my uh, multitasking powder brush by Eco Tools, and I'm just gonna quickly bronze my face and blush my face with the Emily Edit The Needs palette. Um, I got this the other day. I haven't really used it very much, but oh, it blends out nicely. I was expecting to have to blend for a while, but that blended out really nice, really quickly. I went in with Courage. And then I'm going to contour with my uh, Profusion Blush and Bronze palette. This is so good. This has so many blushes. It has a highlight shade, which is a little bit too dark for me. And then it's got all of these blushes and then these two bronzers and contours. So I'm going to use the light powder. This is a really nice contour brush as well. I wouldn't use it to bronze. Then I'm going to take Joy. I can't even say I'm reviewing this palette because I've got to try a different eyeshadow palette out. So I can't try these eyeshadows yet, but I will let you know in the description. And then for brows, I'm not going to do highlight because again I'm doing highlight in a different video. But I will do brows really quickly. So this is probably my new favourite brow pencil. And that's over the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is. This is the Kat Von D signature brow. The applicator, it's not, it's like a straight line so you get really good brow hairs. Effortless and I love that. So the mascara. This is the Essence Volume Hero mascara in waterproof. This is like a plastic bristle tip 
didn't make me excited when I saw this, but I love Essence Cara, so I'm gonna give it a go. I just picked myself a new one. Separates a lot more than volumize is, but it's not super <laughs> layerable. But so I'm gonna leave this mascara on for the rest of the day. See if my lashes fall. See if it crumbles all over my face or anything like that. Um, I have high hopes. Essence mascaras are normally really good. It's not my favourite Essence mascara, but I think it's very lengthening, um, very separating, but not very volumising. Is it? Let's see how I got on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you feel like it, and I hope to see you all very very soon in the next one. Bye.